Welcome to lesson three for the OCR data set, where we're going to look at measures of spread and a cumulative frequency graph. Go to tab for the travel 2011 and in the bicycle column we are going to, um, having done the maximum value in the last lesson, input the formula for the minimum value. And you can just type that in, clicking equals min, and typing or clicking on the cells in return. And then Filling in the range, which is the maximum, take away the minimum. Filling in the quartiles, there's a special formula for that quartile. Typing in the cells and then you comma one. And for the upper quartile you do a similar formula, but it's a comma three this time. So going ahead and working out the interquartile range. And then finally, the standard deviation is equals STDEVP, P standing for standard deviation of the population. Now you have three measures of spread, the range you've seen before in the interquartile range, the new one being the standard deviation, which is the average spread from the mean value about that one carefully again it's the average spread of each value from the mean okay because I think the standard deviation is so important we're going to check that value by copying across the two columns including the data we want to look at which is bicycle use okay notice that I've got the formula there on the right we want x values and the x values are going to be the number of cyclists per local authority so heading up column C with the X minus mean. So for each value we're going to take away the mean. And we're going to put in the mean value at the bottom, typing in mean and then putting in equals average B2 to B349 this time. And then going back up to the top in cell C2, putting equals B2 minus that cell where you've got the mean. And a little tweak here, you've got to put a dollar sign in, which seems a bit strange, but you do, to fix that cell when we copy down. The heading for column D is going to be squaring all the values in column C, so we get rid of the negative values. So head it up open brackets x minus mean close bracket all to the power 2 and you can do a little tweak there by formatting the cell then putting equals and I just go c2 star c2 to square it then filling down from c2 right down to d349 Okay, so next in the formula, you've got to add all those differences of the values and the mean squared and divide by the number of local authorities, in this case 348. So do that in cell D351. Finally, square routing to get back to a meaningful value equals SQRT of D351. And Thank goodness it equals the figure we had before, which of course we expected. Now for the cumulative frequency graph. A lot of the skills in Excel are similar to the ones you use in lesson two. So we're setting up a new tab for cumulative frequency and copying across the top row with the headings. Then going back and copying across your local authority comparison I'm going to copy across the largest local authority which is Birmingham and the smallest one which is the Isles of Scilly and I'll just mark those on the map.
inserting an extra column at E to put in the first value of zero and then putting in the end value for each of the age widths. Put in three starting zeros for each of the local authorities, copying across the names of those local authorities. And then putting in the formula at F6 being equal to F2 and then in G6 equals F6 plus G2 for a cumulative total. Then fill those formulae down two rows and across to column U. And check the totals agree with the total population in those local authorities in column D. And then finally, to make the graph, clicking on D5 to U8, insert straight line graph. There it is. 